What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm gonna be giving you my four month review of the Specialized Status 140. So that means things I like, things I don't like, things I think could be improved, and some aftermarket parts that we have on this bike. So let's get straight into it. I'm gonna do a brief walkthrough of the components on the bike, like the really main ones. So to start, we've got a Fox 36 Rhythm up front. Um, very good for 140 mil travel. Fox Float X in the rear, also very good 140 mil travel on this frame. It's Fox Shocks, so what can I say? It's amazing. Tires, you see that little butcher logo? That is the specialized butcher tire. Now if we look at this tread pattern, you'll see it's very like bulky and it provides a ton of grip. And this is the front tire, it's very good. And I'm also running a butcher in the back. A lot of grip. Yeah, it rolls really fast too. Another big piece of this is the drivetrain. We got SRAM NX all the way around. Very reliable, very good, yet yeah, also affordable. And that is something that is really important to me. Lastly, we got an X-Fusion Manic Dropper. It's very simple. You press the lever and then the seat shoots up. So just like that. And yeah, it's not the fastest. Not the slowest either, but it's reliable and it hasn't failed me yet. And that is what is most important. So some of the aftermarket parts that I'm running on this bike are the Trail One Components Hell's Gate grips. Very good grips, super grippy. They're amazing. And I've got a discount code on the screen and a link to the grips and their website in the description along with the code. You can use it for 20% off of anything on their website. So highly recommend these grips. So another very big thing is the pedals you choose. I chose to be budgety and just get the Crank Brothers Stamp One pedals. They're $50, composite pedals. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pins. And it provides plenty of grip. And I think they're really good pedals. Lastly, we got these Tannis Armor tubeless valves here. Um, they're very good valves. They've got a little valve core remover. You can also use it to tighten it on the end. And inside the wheel, we got some Tannis Armor tire inserts. And discount code in the description, YouTube 20. Definitely check it out. You may have noticed I got a new mud guard. This came with the knee pads I got for riding the bike park. Fox Racing mud guard. It's white and black with white zip ties on, which are really good on the Fox Rhythm 36 because of the decal colors. And I put the other mud guard on my old bike, which I do still use sometimes. Okay, so here are some things that I really like about this bike. You see, we've got a 29 inch wheel in the front, 27.5 in the back. We got business in the front, party in the back. And it's really good because the 27.5 back wheel it makes the bike super agile and it's really easy to corner. You get the 29 inch front wheel really plows through tech and it really helps to make my front wheel not wash out or lose control because it's bigger and stable. And we do not want the front wheel to wash out or lose grip because that's not, not a good crash. I like that this bike has room for a bottle cage. I think they could have done more Maybe had the shock up higher, or this little cutoff could like not exist so I could fit a bigger pump. And they could maybe add something up here under the top tube where my pack is, because I drink a lot of water, it would be helpful. Then again, the majority of people don't need it, so it's a whole thing. And I also really like, actually, the, the status logo. It's not that cool, it's like crossed out and whatever, but it's like subtle. So it gives the bike a cool vibe. So I like the bike's geometry because it's got a really slack head tube angle. So when I'm descending on this thing, it is super comfy. You got the seat tube angle fairly steep. So according to suspension travel, this is a trail bike, but I feel it rides like more of an enduro bike and is like way more capable than most trail bikes because of the geometry. And I think it's amazing. And on top of it, despite the head tube angle and the seat tube angle, this thing can climb. Like it's really good at climbing. Well, that's it for the four month review. If you want a detailed look at all the components on this bike, 
you can click the link in the top right. That'll take you to a good bike check. So yeah, thank you for watching. And if you made it here, please consider subscribing.